Welcome to our series of tutorials on Logic 2, a brand new application to debug your hardware using your Salier Logic Analyzer. In the previous video, linked below, we discussed the basics of protocol analyzers and showed a few ways you can decode and view SPI data. In this video, we'd like to show a couple tips for organizing your workspace. This can be especially useful when working with several channels and analyzers, like shown here. Tip number one. You can rename your channels to better reflect the data you're capturing. Note that when selecting the input channels for your protocol analyzer, it will show your custom name for the channel rather than the channel number. Tip number two. By dragging the channels tab on the left, channels can be reorganized to your liking. Dragging the border of the channel on the left pane allows the channel to be resized. To resize multiple channels simultaneously, resize one channel to set a reference height. Then, right-click within the waveform and click Match All Channels to Current Height. You can also match only digital channels to the current height. The same goes for analog channels. Tip number three. Logic 2 uses a variety of colors to help you differentiate parts of the software. This includes trace colors for the individual channels, which is also indicated on the very left of the software here. It also includes analyzer colors, which determine the colors for the analyzer data boxes in your waveform. Here we have a color for our UART data, we have a color for our I2C data, and we also have a color for our SPI data. These can be set in the Analyzers panel by clicking on the colored box next to that analyzer. One tip would be to match the analyzer color with the channel that the data boxes reside over. So for I2C, these data boxes reside over channel 2, so we can set it to red. If you prefer working without trace colors, you can turn it off by right-clicking anywhere on the left pane and clicking Remove Trace Color. Tip number 4. You may also want to adjust the scaling for a recorded analog waveform. We've resized one of our analog channels to fit about half the screen. On macOS, Holding the command key while dragging allows you to vertically scroll. Command plus the scroll wheel will vertically zoom. You can view these keyboard shortcuts by clicking on the options button and clicking keyboard shortcuts. On Windows and Linux, you'll find these keyboard shortcuts here, next to vertical scroll, vertical zoom in, and vertical zoom out. Tip number five. For our final tip, you can hide the progress bar window during a capture by clicking the X. This will convert the window into a progress bar in the side panel as shown here. Clicking on the progress bar will convert it back into a window. This setting is saved for subsequent captures. In closing, we hope this helps in managing complex captures, especially when working with several channels and analyzers. In the next video, we plan on discussing more useful features on Logic 2. As always, if you have any specific questions or feedback, Visit our Logic 2 form in the link here.